Hey guys, it's Brit. Tonight I wanted to jump on and talk to you for a few seconds about a new mommy blogger that I came across. Some of you guys wanted my opinion and I have one, so if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so tonight we're talking about Brittany Boren Leach. She is a YouTube creator, a mommy vlogger, whatever you want to call it, mommy influencer. You know, I've covered a few of these moms on my channel before, and it's content that you guys seem to really enjoy. Now, here's the thing. I want to insert a little reminder in the beginning of this video. I know that most of you guys completely understand this, but giving commentary on a mommy vlogger is... You know, there's nothing wrong with that as long as the opinions are structured in a way that is easy for you guys to digest and it's not coming off as mean or vile or hateful. Um, that's what I'm going to use my platform for. We discuss problematic influencers and in my opinion, it doesn't matter if you're a mom or not a mom, but the problem with a lot of the mommy vloggers is that they make a lot of money off the backs of their children by sharing very intimate moments of their children's lives, anywhere from taking the, um, you know, pregnancy test to the labor and delivery vlogs, you know, shaming other moms for not having natural birth, and then showing all of the extravagant birthday parties and the Disney trips and the, the uh, environment that it starts to create that's really problematic is they are showing other moms this is what a good mom should be and it's you know influence it's the power of influence and when you're doing that and making other people feel less than it's a big problem combine that with making sometimes millions of dollars off the backs of your children that is where I you know have a hard stop and I cannot allow that to go by and not speak up against it. I do think that we are at a point in time where the family vlogger trajectory sort of is veering off and people are losing interest because a lot of people are seeing these children cannot tell their parents, you know, I don't feel like being on camera today, especially when they're an infant, they can't even talk. These children know nothing else but having a camera put in their face from the day that they're born up until current day. And, you know, I, I've shared this before, but when I was growing up, my dad always did a great job, especially of filming birthday parties and stuff like that. But I could not imagine every single day being filled with vlogging everything from breakfast to getting ready for school. When I come home from school, the camera's back in my face. And then don't even get me started on the really, really bad stuff that should never be published to the internet, like talking about puberty and shopping for bras and all of this kind of stuff that is broadcast to millions of strangers on the internet. It's extremely problematic. That's just a side tangent. Y'all know how I get. I get off on tangents once in a while, but... I really wanted to talk about that because as I see more and more of these channels come onto my radar, it just reminds me how problematic the content is, not only for the children, but also for the audience. And I will say it, you know, as often as I can, if you are a mom or a dad and you're watching this kind of content and you ever feel like, here, here's an example. She has this video from six months ago, nursery organization. I haven't watched this video, but if I could guess, it's probably filled with a bunch of products that you don't need, a bunch of expensive pieces of furniture that she's going to link in her description box, again, allegedly, because I don't know. Do not watch this content and ever feel like the you know, stuff that you bought at the dollar store is not good enough, or you need to be using fancy Tupperware because Aaron Williams is using fancy Tupperware. Your Tupperware is just fine. You're doing a great job. If your kids are loved and fed and have shelter and are surrounded by, you know, a healthy environment, you are doing everything great. 
So I understand, you know, maybe some people watch his content just for entertainment, but I do think that after a while it can start to change your um, kind of your position and the way that you start to compare what you see here to what you are doing for your own kids. And that's where I think it can become very, very problematic. Okay, so Miss Brittany Warren Leach. Oh, she's subscribed to some of our faves here. She's subscribed to Brianna K. Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Bunch of other family vloggers I don't know anything about. Love Meg, there you go. All right, so Brittany Warren Leach. She has 242,000 subscribers. YouTube is her smaller platform. Instagram is where she has all the followers. She has 881,000 followers on uh, Instagram. And so here, here's the whole rundown with, um, with Brittany. She created her YouTube um, account October 6th of 2014. She started making videos about four years ago. From the get-go, her kid has been in her video. Her kids, her kids, now she has multiple kids. So looking at her older content, you know, baby stuff, beauty stuff. So I don't know if she wanted to be a beauty channel and then didn't see the growth from that and decided I can put my kids on the internet and get more views. I'm not sure. But either way, that's kind of her older content. More of her newer content is day in the life, pantry organization, um, motivation, pregnancy stuff. I mentioned the nursery organization stuff. To me, she is a very basic mommy vlogger. Boring ass content, same, um, you know, thumbnails that they all do. It's mundane to me. One thing I will say about Brittany is I'm not going to provide commentary on this piece because, frankly, I don't think that it belongs on the internet anyway. But as much as I will criticize her for putting up fake images and just being obnoxious as far as all the sponsor content, you know, she had a very unfortunate situation happen with one of her children in 2019 and I cannot imagine the amount of pain and anguish that that caused her. Um, so I don't want to provide commentary on that but I also didn't want to ignore the fact that it happened so my heart definitely goes out to her in all aspects of that I could not even imagine but that also um, in my opinion, isn't up for commentary, so I'm not here to commentate on that. I've talked a lot on my channel about the influencers doing sponsored posts and sponsored videos. That is where the money is. That is absolutely where the money is for influencers, and that's not a secret. Brittany is someone who does an insane amount of sponsored stuff on Instagram. And I decided to, since Instagram is her more heavily followed profile or platform, I should say, I decided to go through some of her story highlights. And this girl does so much sponsored content, it's insane. All of her stuff, swipe up links, um, you know, I started going through, she has a reel about teeth whitening and there's a lot of like vitamin stuff. The problem that I have here is that just like many other influencers, she is using filters to sell these products. I don't understand why these people that run these companies allow this shit to happen. I do, it's you know obviously for their bottom line number, but it is so ridiculous to me how you can sit there and send your product to someone, ask them to review it, they post a picture or a video that has clearly been edited to make it look better, prettier, brighter, whatever, and you're just gonna allow that to happen. 
in between these companies and these influencers, I'm at the point where I'm not going to buy from any brand that supports influencers. I am almost at that point, you guys. A lot of this stuff I don't buy anyway, like this care of vitamins. I know that they work with so many different influencers, you know, stuff like that. But it is just crazy to me. You have these mommy vloggers who are showing this unattainable lifestyle built off the backs of their children, showing the unrealistic standards of beauty that follow having a child, editing their photos to all hell and back, and just continuing to lie, cheat, and do whatever it takes to get more views, more likes, more clicks. But to me, as an overall sort of opinion on her, um, I don't really think that she's bringing anything super spectacular to her platform. She is another mommy vlogger, another, um, you know, person that is out for her bottom line. And I, I do feel like, I want to say in this video, I feel like the mommy vloggers of the internet, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, I do feel like there is a really powerful opportunity there. And I don't see many, I don't see many of them capitalizing on how powerful and um, amazing that could be. Typically, what I see is a bunch of moms that start out as very relatable and all of the great things. And as the number of subscribers or followers grows, the relatability just depletes down to nothing. And I hope, who knows, one day, one day a mommy vlogger will come across my radar and I will be able to come to you guys and say, this mommy vlogger is not putting her kids on the internet. She has remained relatable <clears throat> for the last five years and she has a large audience. I hope that one day I can come to you guys and say that because I do think that there is advice and there are lessons and, you know, teachable moments that parents can share with an audience but I just will never stand behind someone that puts their children on the internet and continues to build their own net worth off of the fact that strangers have been watching their kids grow up online. So overall, in my opinion, is Brittany the worst mommy vlogger? No, Micah Stoffer will always hold that title. But keeping the same energy, like Bambi always says, keep the same energy, keep the same energy. Um, you know, as far as that goes, I'm going to always keep the same energy. And if you are putting your kids online and monetizing their childhood and every intimate moment of their growing up, I'm not going to support it. So I, I will let you guys know exactly how I feel about it. And who knows, one day we might come across um, someone, I hope we do, where they're not doing what everyone else has done and following this blueprint. So time will tell, but for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.